Hello and welcome to this week. Uh, the topic this week is and glaciers, two extreme environments, one that is very, very dry and one that is very, very cold. So let's get started by looking at deserts. All right, deserts. What is a desert? All right, I want you to picture a desert in your, in your mind. You might think of something like this, right? Lots of sand dunes, uh, not a lot of vegetation. So most people would say that deserts are hot, dry, and full of sand. This is what we think of. And while this uh, can be true, um, while all deserts do have to be dry, they don't all have to be hot and they don't all have to be covered in sand, right? So this is a desert. This is a sandy desert. Uh, this is also a desert. This desert happens to be rocky. This is also a desert. This desert is covered in ice, right? So what is a desert? How can a desert be sandy, rocky, or icy? Well, a desert is just anywhere. Um, it's an arid region that receives less than 25 centimeters of precipitation per year, right? So it's anywhere that's dry. It doesn't receive a lot of precipitation, either as rain or as snow, right? So one of the reasons that these snow covered areas can be deserts is because they're not receiving a lot of precipitation, right? Even though there's ice on the ground, there's snow on the ground, that doesn't mean they're getting a lot of new snow being deposited. Okay, um, so a desert is anywhere that receives less than 25 centimeters of precipitation per year. For comparison, Brunswick receives about 120 centimeters of precipitation per year. Right, um, there are many deserts. The largest is the Antarctic Desert. Antarctica is the largest desert in the world. Right, then we also have the Arctic on the North Pole. And then we start getting the deserts that we more often think about, right? The Great Sahara Desert in Africa, the Arabian Desert in the Middle East, uh, and so on and so on, right? Now in these deserts, vegetation is so sparse that a desert is unable to support significant populations of animals. They're not totally barren, there are some animals, but they can't su support large, diverse, significant populations of animals. There's just not enough vegetation for that. Deserts also are, in, are inhospitable, meaning they're difficult to live in because of the extreme temperatures, right? So because the atmosphere in deserts is so dry, temperatures are extremely hot during the day and extremely cold at night. And this is because during the day, there's no clouds in the sky, or there are very few clouds in the sky, which allows the sun's radiation to easily reach the ground and heat up the land surface. It's right? so very hot during the day. But then at night, again, there's no clouds to prevent the heat from escaping from the ground. There's not a lot of moisture in the air to trap that heat near the ground. So when the sun goes away, when the sun sets, there's no source of heat and the land quickly becomes very cold. 